All right, here I go for another day. Um, I don't know if you remember, I bought this car. A little Suzuki 4x4 sidekick. And, um, you know, last time I went to the beach, I just, it started slipping the transmission like crazy. It was smoking like crazy. Like, not all the time, but it would, every once in a while, a big cloud of smoke would come out. So I gave up on it. I don't, I don't have time to mess around with this car. And I got this one. A little Toyota Corolla. Look, damage. Uh, $500. So we're going to try this one out today. See how it runs. No door handle. Uh, the window doesn't go down or up. I guess I could get it up if I have two people. Uh, it's got 200 and... 20, 222 something, you know, 200,000 miles. And, uh, oh yeah, here's another best part of it. You got smashed right there. <laughs> Actually, the, the, the rate, not the radiator, but the, the coolant one is all bent. <laughs> and amazingly enough, the air conditioning works. It's got a lot of miles, so this will be my first test trip. This handle is also kind of broken. It, you can't really open it like that. You got to go, uh, and then work it open. Back doors work fine. The seat goes down so I can put all my stuff all the way through. So that's nice. So hopefully this one will work out. Oh, look, and it's got gold. Gold. That's what I'm after. I'm always after the gold. So maybe this will bring me gold luck. Like, good luck. And it's still registered until 2017, I guess. I don't know what that means. Oh, May. <laughs> I guess that's not far off, but I don't even know what month it is right now. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I'm going to go for it. See how this goes. All right, I made it down here again in the car. Grand perfect, so if it makes it go home good, I'm good to go. I'd rather drive a crappy car that runs good than a good car that runs bad, you know? But I like to get where I'm going. Anyways, uh, I think I'm going to start off just walking down the beach until I uh, find targets. Uh, it's not quite low tide yet, so we'll see what happens. And I don't have my camera mounted to anything, so... My taping might be a little off. I might find something and then just show it to you instead of doing a live dig. But I might try to do a couple live digs if I get that good sound. Alright, I'll see you when I get something. Uh, this doesn't sound like gold, but it's, it sounds really loud. <laughs> Almost like a stainless steel ring or something. Let's see what it is. Super loud. Oh, I see it. I think it is a ring. Yeah, that's a ring. By tungsten. Wow, I called it. Because I've been digging for a while. Oh, it's 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 a silver ring. Oh, awesome. Nice big silver ring. Oh, yeah. I like it. Awesome. Woohoo! I'm on the board. Heavy. All right. <laughs> I've walked for a while now. And I just got lucky to tape it. I, well, I know the sound. The super loud sound. Yeah, I'm happy. All right, I'm gonna keep going. Might be a good day today. All right, so so far I've only got the silver ring, hardly any change. Um, but it's a good hunt. I'm hunting up against these rocks here a little bit before I found the ring. And um, as I was hunting on these rocks here, I noticed uh, there's some really cool ones, like a. Like you can see where it's been chipped off. 
like the quartz. There's a circle of it right here. And it's just like uh, these are like pure quartz or something, or some mixed with something else. So I'm not a, like a geologist or anything. I'm a goldologist. Oh yeah. There's some pockets right here. I didn't even notice that. Like a geode. You know how geodes have pockets? That one's kind of. Oh wow, pretty cool. But there's a lot of them. This one you can't even tell. It's like covered. The only you can see where it's been chipped off. Uh, like this one you can't tell, but it is one. Uh, there's some more. Yeah, so I'm gonna get back at it. Time to run for the restroom, I guess. All right, so I just dug a good signal again. Boom, another ring. I think it's silver. This is a patina. But it looks silver for sure, so. That's two. All right, I already dug this one, but I haven't looked at it yet. But it sounded like gold. Ugh. Ah, uh, it's just a junker. Pretty sure. Wow. Unexpected though. That might be silver. Yeah. I don't know. I'll have to check that one when I get home. It's just a little guy, but I'll add it to my pile. Because There's one I didn't show you guys yet. A scorpion. I dug that one. So that's silver number four, if that's silver. I hope it's gold, though. I don't know. We'll see. Wow, I can't believe I got a ring where I'm at right now. So I'm going to have to check this area a little more. But it's just a little ring, so I which why. I'm gonna keep going. I'm on my way back now. Guess what? I just got another one. But it sounds like copper. So it probably is. But it could be gold. I don't know. I'll check it when I get home. <laughs> it's pretty cool. I figured I'll do a live dig. This one's kind of a nickel sounding. Not really gold, but nickel maybe? Hope I'm wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's still nickel sounding. But I don't think I've dug a nickel today, so let's see. Okay, it's out of the hole. This is why I haven't done any live digs, I have to switch hands. Maybe a quarter. Alright, let's see what it is. Oh, it is a nickel. Hey, hey. I'm getting to know my detector pretty good. I'm going to keep going. I found this little hot spot here. I'm going to clean it out and then I'm heading out. Alright, there's another one of those dead birds. What I started doing is scanning them like this, just go over them and see if uh, actually fishing gear killed them or just to see if there's any metal in them, you know. Um, I'll start doing that with all of them, I find. Just thought I'd share that with you guys. I'm just curious myself to see if, if they're getting weights or hooks or what's going on. Because you can usually tell if they got fishing line around there. Uh, somewhere in their body, legs usually. Alright, I just wanted to share that. I'm almost back now. Got a little more to go. It's about a mile away. Alright, here we go for the wrap up. Um, I got aluminum blobs like crazy. Just a whole bunch of them. Some little odds and ends of stuff. This one might be silver. No, I think it's aluminum. It's 
feels light, but it's really hard to bend. It's got some lines on it and stuff. Um, this piece here is just a big piece of iron, thick iron, but it's got lines going across. But it's like it's ripped or something. It's crazy. How do they? How do you rip a big piece of iron like that? Um, I got lots of copper pieces, copper, copper, um, I don't know what this is, kind of weird, it's got a rock stuck to it, weird, weird stuff, um, a lot different than I normally find on the beach, um, it's unusual stuff, like a drawer handle maybe, I have no idea. What the heck that is? That thing? Two bumps on it? I don't know. Electronical stuff maybe? I got one... One dollar and a quarter and quarters. I got two nickels. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dimes. This one's like a super thin one. Super thin. It's like not nothing left of it. I don't know if it, I could read a date on it. It could be silver. I don't know. Uh, 10, 19, 19 pennies. I got this. Came up like a ring, but it's not. It's just a piece of junk. See? Yeah. I got a junk ring. Nice little junk ring. I got another junk ring. I don't even know if that's a ring. <laughs> I got this little thing. I don't know what the heck it is. There's no hole. But it looks like a big giant backing on an earring. But there's no hole. So you, you know. Where you poke the thing through. Just. But it looks like silver. I got this ring here. Very nice. Uh, 925 silver. I cleaned the black off it as good as I could. Nice little fake diamond. Well I don't know if it's fake. It's just not a, not a diamond. Could be something else. Now, this is a big chunky one silver another silver real happy with that and then this thing is really silver came out really clean well not really clean but as clean as i could get it but it's also silver probably won't come out but you can see the 925 on the back uh, another thin wafer coin i don't know maybe i don't know real strong though um and what's left of a penny tiny penny smaller than a dime i'm sure anyways that's it for this hunt tonight i'll be in the dark so um sorry about my lighting right now it's horrible anyways i hope you guys enjoyed it i sure did i'm happy with the three nice silvers i've got one two three and um, uh, I guess that's it for this one. And four rings, not bad. One of those could have easily been gold, but they weren't. So yeah, I got a GM key here. A key. I'm just getting quite a collection of keys. All right, I'm going to let you go. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.